In this Composer talk, I'm going to reveal my new discoveries about Spotify and its music recommendation system. But uh, why do I care about this problem? Well, in the modern days, uh, a huge amount of music is released every day, and uh, it's basically impossible for any listener to explore all of the music that is released. And that's a serious problem, because even great music, great artists, can lie undiscovered and uh, simply buried under the huge amount of music that is released. So the question is, uh, how Spotify does solve this problem? How does it approach the problem? The idea behind a recommendation system is that there is an unlimited flow of tracks that are uploaded to the platform and the algorithm has to choose the next track to recommend to each particular user. And uh, Spotify's solution is to consider the so-called popularity index, an internal measure that they have defined in order to estimate the popularity of a track. And the idea is to promote and to recommend only tracks that are already enough popular. Well, this idea has one advantage and uh, one disadvantage. The advantage is that uh, if a track is already popular, there is a lot of data already on it, uh, so the system can build uh, and produce uh, better recommendations. On the other hand, if an artist is still undiscovered, of course uh, uh, the tracks will be unpopular because nobody knows that the artist even exists and therefore the artist will not be recommended by the system which is a big problem of this approach. Many YouTube channels have tried to investigate the popularity index and to understand how it works but nobody has revealed the whole truth about it and the problem is that nobody has used the scientific method which is uh, what we need when we have to analyze new problems. So the technique is to analyze the data, to formulate uh, true logic and mathematics hypotheses, and test them with further data. Since I'm a mathematician, I thought uh, that I could uh, solve this problem and give, uh, therefore, my contribution to the music community. And indeed, uh, I found the magic formula behind the popularity index. Let's make a step back. In Spotify's own words, the popularity is calculated by algorithm and is based on the most part on the total number of plays the track has had and how recent those plays are. Generally speaking, songs that are being played a lot now will have a higher popularity than songs that were played a lot in the past. So the two keywords here are the total number of plays and how recent those plays are. Some people interpret this uh, uh, by saying, okay, the popularity index only considers the streams of the last uh, 28 days. But uh, that is not true, and there's a counterexample to that. So let's consider my track Dark Light. After a peak on October 3rd due to a playlist ad, on October 10, it had 24% of popularity. On the other hand, 20 days later, on October 30th, it had only 19% of popularity. But the streams of the peak are still in the 28-day window. So that's impossible, uh, according to the view that uh, the popularity index uh, is determined by the streams in the last 28 days. So there must be something else that determines the popularity index. The idea is that each day has an associated weight and the more recent the day is, the higher the weight is. If we consider the sum of the weights of the first week, we obtain 36%. If we sum the weights of week 2, we obtain 20%, then 30% week 3, 10% week 4, and so on. Week 7, 8 weigh only 8%, so very little in comparison with the first week. Therefore, the idea is that uh, Spotify 
will not compute a standard average of streams, but a so-called weighted average. So let's make an example. Suppose that your track had 1,000 streams on the first week, and then from week two to eight, it had only 500 streams. This means that on average, um, the track had 562.5 streams per week. But of course, if you compute the weighted average, the result is different because 1000 is multiplied by 0.36, which is far bigger than uh, one eighth. If we consider again dark light, you can see that this uh, system justifies why the popularity index is different. On October 10th, the popularity index of uh, dark light is 24 because at that time the streams uh, had uh, a weight of 36%, uh, which is uh, significantly more than the weight they had on October 30, which was uh, 10% because at that point they were in the fourth week. That explains uh, the change of popularity index of dark light. So how does the Spotify algorithm work? Well, it computes the streams of the last eight weeks and the weighted average. So suppose it is 200 daily streams. Then uh, this means that uh, in the last 28 days, it's uh, 5,600. I don't think it's needed to reason in terms of uh, the last 28 days because the algorithm only needs to know the average streams per day. But uh, many people like uh, to um, reason in terms of the last 28 days as well uh, as I do. So I keep uh, this uh, thing of the last 28 days. But this weighted average is given to the magic formula. And uh, this uh, magic formula produces at the end the popularity index. Now, it's important to say that uh, why do we need this weighted average? If your data of your track is very regular, then essentially the weighted average is equal to the average. So you can use directly this formula to a constant uh, um, distribution of streams. But if the distribution is not constant, then Spotify uh, uses uh, this weighted average. This magic formula that I discovered is just uh, an exponential formula but the point is that uh, it has a slower growth, so it's called uh, a sub-exponential formula. You can see that E is elevated to the power not of x, but cubic root of x. So this function grows uh, significantly slower than a true exponential formula. C here is uh, basically a number which varies very little. Uh, from 2.33 to 0.61, and it does that very slowly. I believe that this C is used by Spotify in order to tweak from time to time the popularity index, because uh, it's proven that they do that, and in general, they decrease it. Well, if you are curious, the mathematical definition is the following. So uh, C is dependent of X, uh, and uh, the inverse of the low algorithm. So it uh, decreases very, very slowly. But um, the intuition uh, here is very easy. And uh, you can see that uh, for uh, thousands of streams, uh, the popularity index uh, is uh, low and uh, actually less than 32%. And um, for 8,000 streams, uh, it corresponds to roughly 26%, and from that point onwards, you have uh, very high chances to be on Discover Weekly, indeed, because your popularity is high enough. But uh, the, um, this curve shows uh, the concept of diminishing returns due to the exponential nature of the function. So here you can see that uh, with the first 7,000 streams, you get to 25% of popularity, but with the next 7,000 streams, you get only five extra points, which is very little. And this is due to the sub-exponential nature of the popularity index function. And uh, if you consider the thousands of streams, 
the hundreds of thousands of streams actually. You can uh, meet uh, tracks like the soundtrack of Harry Potter, which is uh, at uh, roughly 60%. And then with millions of streams, you can find the likes of Ed Sheeran. And you can see that uh, in that uh, portion of the curve, millions of streams generate only few uh, percentage points of the popularity index, so very little. So I'd like now to make two disclaimers. The first is that I don't claim that at Spotify they are using the very same functions and methods that I described. Probably that's something different. I don't have the crystal ball. Nobody can know outside of Spotify. But what I claim is that I have a very precise description of what they are doing. So I deduced a general mathematical law that explain the behavior of the popularity index. So what they are doing, whatever it is, must be equivalent to what I explained. The second disclaimer is that they are continually updating the popularity index function by modifying in particular that constant C. So if you are watching this video several months later, it can be that you find different results, but uh, I have written a software that you can uh, find on my Patreon, and this software that will make the calculations about the popularity index uh, will be constantly updated. So you can find all the answers even when the popularity index will change, hopefully. Now, how does uh, this software work? Well, it uh, uh, takes uh, the CSV file of a particular track uh, that you can download. Then, uh, when you open the program, you have just to enter to, press enter, then select uh, the CSV file, and boom, automatically the algorithm gives you the popularity index. So, that's all, and uh, I hope that uh, this discovery will be very useful for you and uh, we will meet uh, next time.